So this is the program of overriding. Here, first of all, we have created a form. This is form one. And we change the text that is Ankit Varma. I have provided my name here. There we dragged and dropped one label. This is label one and change the text that is method overriding. Then we dragged and dropped one button that is button one and change the text that is click. Afterward, we double click on the button. Then this code will open. In the form one, we are having the class form one available. That means this is a class for the form one. Afterward, it is the public. Public means this class can be accessed outside and it is ending with the end class. So for the form one, one class is created. Afterward, the code of button will be created because we clicked on the button. So this specific portion is the code of button. Here we are having private because button is the part of form. It cannot be accessed outside directly. So private sub that means no return type button underscore click. That is the name of button function. Afterward, we are having sender as system object. This is first argument e as system dot event argument. This is second argument and afterward handles button one dot click. So here it is going to handle the button one dot click event. So whenever we click on the button, this code will run. Above that, we have created the classes. So here we can see that public class A. So one A class is created, which is ending with the end class. So we can say that this is the boundary of class A. Then afterward, we are having public class B. So one more class is created class B, which is ending with the end class. Here, the important thing is inherits A means this is one boundary of class B which is going to take all the properties and methods of class A. So class B is going to inherit class A. So from class A, all the members and the member functions are coming to the class B. Or in the other words, class B can directly access the members of class A, which are protected in the public. Now, if we talk about the class A, there we have created one method. Here we can see that display after that bracket. That means it is a method. Sub means that is no return type. So this complete end sub. This is one block. So this is one method which is created. Now, here we can see that overridable overridable means we are allowing the display method that anybody can override that so it is allowed to display method public because it can be accessed outside now here we are passing two variables as argument one is the by val a as integer second one is by val b as integer so two arguments are passed here now afterward we have provided the same method sub display we can see that the display name is same and sub sub means no return type and afterward we have provided overrides overrides keyword means it can override the methods of its parent class so here it is the overrides keyword is used then afterward public because it can be accessed outside and sub so here this is one block for the method here we can see that by val a as integer by val b as integer so two arguments are passed that means we should understand in the case of overriding the name should be same so name is same and number of arguments should be same and there data type should be same just like here the integer integer is available so data type is same Arguments are same and the function name is same and they are into parent and child class. Then this is the concept of overriding. Now after that in the parent class A, we have created one more method which is show. After the show, we are having the bracket. That's why this is the method. We have applied sub that means no return type. Here we are passing one argument which is C as integer. So one argument is passed. Then before that we are applying overloads. Overloads means we are saying that this method will be overloaded and we are applying public. It can be accessed outside and it is ending with the end sub. Now in the child class B, 
same method with the same name is created show there is a bracket and before that sub sub means there is no return type overloads because it is the concept of overloading then public because it can be accessed outside and sub so this is one block we know that two methods are overloading if they are following the two condition number one either their number of arguments should be different so we can see that the name of method is same but check about the argument number so here first argument and second argument l as integer b as integer two arguments are passed yes there is only one argument there are two arguments so this is the example of overloading overloading is possible in case of two conditions either number of arguments are different which is the case here or if the number of arguments are same let us suppose that both are passing the same number of argument then their type should be different so here this show method is the overloading example and talking about display method this is the example of overriding now we are checking that how this program will work so whenever we click on the button then the code of button will run which is button underscore click and afterward it is dim obj as new b whenever we are mentioning b that means b stands for the class now new new keyword states that it is creating the object so from the class b the object is created which is obj so one obj object is created now with the help of this obj object we can access all the members of class b now afterward we are saying obj dot show 10 now here we know that in the class b there is a method name show right and also class b can access the members of class a because of the inheritance so this is the inheritance now this show method is also the part of class b so show with one argument and show with two arguments these two are the part of class b because of the inheritance because the class b is inheriting all the members of class a so both the methods are available and accessed with using class b now here we can see that 10 is passed 10 means only one argument so when the one argument is passed in that case the method with one argument which is c will work now here is the one argument so afterward this 10 will be passed and this 10 is given to the c then message box class a show method and c means class a show 10 so we can see that message box is available class a show 10 so that is worked then afterward it is going to the next line obj dot show 20 comma 30 this time we have passed two arguments now both the show methods are the part of class b because of the inheritance but here the next method will work where we are having the two arguments so here l as integer and b as integer these are the part of show methods so 20 and 30 will be passing into l and b then afterward message box will be displayed class b show l plus b we know that 20 plus 30 that is nothing but 50 so here class b show 50 we can see that message box is displayed class b show 50 now afterward the next line will execute which is obj dot display 40 comma 50 now here the obj is first going to the class b in the class b we are having the display method here by val a as integer by val b as integer now 40 and 50 these values are passed to the class b display method and this method is overriding overriding means it is saying that i am going to override so right now only this method will work above method is not working at this time we know that class a and class b both members are into the class b because of the inheritance but right now only the display method is working which is of class b because it is going to override the above method so above method is right now not working now here we are having message box 
class B display concat with A into B, we know that 40 into 50, that is nothing but the 2000. So this 2000 is displayed. Now we can see that message box is displayed. Class B display 2000. Then afterward we can see that my base, my base stands for Whenever we are having parent-child relation, my base says that go to my parent. So here the parent is A. My base dot display 60 comma 70. So my base means go to my parent. Who is my parent? Which is class A. And class A display method. So display method is just going. So here it is going to the display method. In the display method, it is saying that 60, 70. So in this display method, now the 60 and 70 values are going. So right now this method is working and other method is not working. So this method we are here 60 and 70 and afterward message box class A display A plus B. So here 60 plus 70 and we know that 60 plus 70 is nothing but 130. So here the message box is displayed, class A display 130. So here this is how we can use the overriding into the program. We should understand only one concept. When there is a parent-child class relation and if both the methods are exactly with the same name, same argument, same type, then this is the concept of overriding. And if the same name is there, but argument number is different or argument type is different. That is the concept of overloading. So that is all about the method overriding.